All right, stop right there. Where you coming from? The other side of the world. Now don't you go smart mouthing me. I'll lock your black ass up. You can't keep me locked up. You come here to give us a hard time? No. I come with the full moon to shine on your cowardice. Now you done gone too far. Nobody talks to the law in Alabama that way. You under arrest. What's your name? Knight. See, these pigs know that historically, there have been beatings and even murders committed against people who refuse to give up their belongings to other inmates. Yet, there's also been countless cases of theft by guards of inmates' property and money. So, in essence, they have to lay me open to others so that I might be protected from them. Send him up and get his hair cut. Barber One coming at you. Be nice to him. He's my homeboy. Man, I don't need no hair cut. You starting up on the wrong foot, man. Relax. Yo, nigga, you don't need to be in this jail, but you are. So why don't you get your ass up there before I dry shave you myself? Man, fuck you. You ain't gonna you fuck with me. You ain't talking to my boss like that either. I've been haunted lately by a ghost. Now, I don't mean this in the sense of things appearing in dark rooms and black cats and so on, but the kind of thing that you experience when something weighs heavily on your conscience. It is something of a dilemma for me. I know these cowards are trying to break me. I'm talking about the murder that took place a few years ago when I was in jail in Alabama. Stand up, nigger. Don't you know to get up when you hear that door open? You think you're a smart son of a bitch, don't you? I'm gonna roll that door, and when I do, you go in there and get that nigger out of that cell, trusty. Yes, sir, amen. Come on out of there. Now, my way of thinking of this was that there was no way that one could solve these kinds of problems on an individual basis, but that we all as a whole must go to the source of the problem and therefore remove the general condition. My mind began to drift back to the last time I was in jail of past deaths. One particular incident sticks out in my mind. The murder of Jerome Mines. A while ago, I was in jail doing a six-month sentence and was put on the road gang. I was given a pair of ankle bracelets on the first day out. The bracelets had eight chain links between each ring, and, and as I think about it, I can feel the rings cutting into my flesh and causing pain with every single step. One of the guards that stood around watching us used to get special pleasure making sure that we worked ceaselessly from sunrise to sunset to keep up with working the land. This was quite a chore. The difficulty we all encountered walking over terrain with chains to our legs, terrain that has staves protruding from the ground and hilly. And also, the peanut butter sandwiches we had to eat for lunch caught in my throat submerging me into a semi-hypnotic state. I often thought of running straight for the fat, snuff-eating face of the guard, grabbing his gun and shooting his ass to death. You going C block, what they bust you for? Man, they gave me six months for driving without a license. I ain't never been to jail before, or I ain't never had a ticket or nothing. Man, they wouldn't even let me apply for probation. Hell, bro, tell me about it. I got a deuce to do. You sleep in C1, but you going in the day room for now. Yeah, I want to go somewhere and lay down and go to sleep. You can't go back to the cell till after dinner. Well, well, got another Vic. What's your name, bro? Jerome. They bust you for? Driving without a license. What cell they put you in? I don't know. Hey, let me see that white slip they gave you. Oh, shit, you in C1? Hey, man, why don't y'all put somebody in my cell? Damn, bro, you got $54 on your books. Why don't you send me some when the store come around? I don't know, man. I'm gonna be here for six months, and I don't know if my folks are gonna send me something or not. You think that's gonna last six months? You been to jail before, man? Seems like I've seen you somewhere before. Where you from? I used to come downtown to the pool hall a lot, but I lived in Bessemer. Yeah, maybe that's where I saw you. I used to go down to Bessemer a lot. Last time we went down there to a party, a bunch of dudes got behind it. The only reason
reason they didn't get us because the police came around the corner. I sure wish I could see one of them fools right now. Yeah, you probably saw me down at the pool hall. So you say you ain't gonna send us nothing when the store runs, huh? Hey man, I can do whatever I want with my money. I don't owe you nothing. I just came here to do my time and get out. I ain't looking for no trouble. Well, Jack, you was in trouble when they brought you here. Don't get all bent out of shape because I asked you a question. Man, I told you that's all I got, man. It's got to last until I get some more. Well, fellas, time to go to court. You gotta go to court unless you send us something. And the judge here come down with some pretty heavy sentences. <laughs> You'll probably come out cheaper if you give us something now. Say, man, don't keep messing with me, man. Sucker, who you think you're talking to? I'll forget about this court shit and we can get out right now. Well, I guess I'll call the court to order before this shit goes too far, man. Man, you sure is making it hard on yourself talking to my prosecutor like that. Man, I don't want nothing to do with that shit, man. Y'all ought to leave that brother alone. Y'all ain't checked that white boy when he came up in here the other day. He ain't gave y'all shit. Hey, you know, you can go to court too, chump. Say, man, I've been all the courts I'm going to. I ain't going to no more motherfucking courts. You know what I'm saying? You didn't bring that police in here and take him to court when he brought your ass in here. So just leave me out of that. I ain't scared of no white man. And you ain't never seen no white man or nobody do nothing to me. They done done more to you than this brother ever have. Let me tell you something, nigga. Do you think a white man can come in that door and do anything to us? You just one of them chicken shit niggas trying to hide your fears talking about the white man. I done seen an army drag your ass in here, so what makes you think you so tough? I don't think I'm tough, but I just ain't gonna let nobody mess over me if I can help it. I ain't fucking with that brother for no reason. He can do whatever he want to do with his money. Shit, the white man been working for 400 years and ain't paid you shit. You ain't trying to take his ass to court. I don't know what you're talking about with your monkey ass. Ain't no white man worked me one year because they ain't no slave. If you know so much about the white man, how they managed to catch you? You can't tell me nothing about the white man. I've been ripping them off all my life. I take what I want. What you done took? The only thing you ever took in your life was from black people. You ain't never took your ass across that track over there messing around and took nothing. Nigga, you don't know where I've been. I take from anybody that got the money. Color don't matter to me. It's chumps like you that make me want to kill so many niggas. You think you know so much and don't know shit. I tell you what, if a white man put his hands on me, I try to tear his head off. Yeah, they been messing with us all these years and you ain't took no heads off yet. They ain't been messing with me. So when they bomb the churches and shoot down little black kids and raping women and won't give a nigga a decent job, that ain't messing with you, huh? This is a dog eat dog world. And if some of us ain't strong enough to survive, that's tough. All these niggas running around here talking about saving black folks. Next thing you see is them same niggas rolling around their El Dorados while the folks they supposed to be saving starve to death. If that was all true, we wouldn't be here. Wouldn't be where? You think that sitting on this iron is some hell of a place to be? No, but it sure is better than swinging from that damn tree. Well, like I see who's scared of white folks. It would take a whole bunch of white folks to hang me. And then, too, in order to get my neck, they would have to bring their own. I ain't scared of dying. I know, but it's living that's a bitch. What you mean? I bet I live better than you on the outside. I had everything I wanted. This is a strange place for a man to wind up who got everything but sitting in here and can't even post bail to get out. I can get out on bail as soon as I want to. But I'm not going to get a white man my money when I'm going to beat the case anyway. You got so much money, why you want to take this brother's money? Man, I ain't think about all that shit. Let's get this show on the road. You ready to go to court, brother? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Stick boy, are you gonna go over there and get the lead out of them niggers' asses? If you can't, I got a pair of chains in the bus that'll fit you just right. Damn. All right, man, let's get this shit together because I ain't putting on no chains for nobody. Stick boy, get that sorry old thing off his ass over there before I come over and beat the hell out of him. 
Hey nigga, you think this is a picnic or something? Get your ass up and get back to work. Hey Leroy, you think you can help that sorry old stick boy get that nigger over there? Yes sir, Captain. I told you to get to work, you lazy black bastard. I can't, Captain Roy. My head is really hurting. Hey, yo, I need a doctor. Damn. It hurt real bad. Nigga, you know, sick calling until 7.30. Get your ass back in that line, boy. Move on. 7.30, time for sick call. Jerome's conditions had grown worse over the evening. 8 o'clock, time for lockup. Sick call had been postponed and the lights were going out. We went into our cells and rattled our cups against the bars until Jerome was given medical attention. All right, what the hell's going on here, boy? Man, you guys said Jerome could see a doctor at sick call, and it's obvious he ain't seen a doctor yet. What the hell is wrong with y'all, man? Yo, there's nothing wrong with can't us, Can't you see boy? this man is all fucked up? Look but at his shut head. Shut your mouth. The guard took Jerome to see the doctor. He was returned to his cell about three minutes later with two aspirin, some gauze, and zinc oxide. We banged our cups against the bars oh. all night. Jerome died that night. What's happening, blood? You the brother they had up on P? Yeah. Wanna smoke? Piece of candy or something? Nah, no thanks, man. I just wanna take a bath. Well, they don't turn the water on till about 9 o'clock in the morning. You got anything on the stove? Why? The brothers up in here like to smoke. Eat candy sometimes. And everybody who come through here, gotta give up half of what they got. Yeah, that's right. If you're going to court, though, you better get a lawyer. Hey, who wants to be his lawyer? Well, what you gonna do, man? Look, man, I ain't trying to fuck around with this shit. I need my money to get up out of here. Well, let's get this court in session. You got 15 minutes to get you a damn lawyer. Nigga, we're gonna kick your ass in the morning. Hey, y'all. Coffee here. Well, I'll be damned if it ain't my nigga. What's happening, man? Oh, not too much, Lee. Just trying to find something to fight with, man. These motherfuckers want my money. They're gonna try to fuck me and all kinds of things. But see, what they don't know is I'm going to be ready for them. Now, you know me. I'm not about to sit back and let these motherfuckers have their way with me. What? They trying to take you through that shit, homeboy? Yeah, man. But I'm going to hurt one of these motherfuckers one way or another. That's why I need you to help me out, man. I need you to give me a piece. Oh, Quick. hell no. These punks ain't going to do a damn thing to you, man. Now, if any one of y'all motherfucking douchebags want to step to a real man and hit the floor... All y'all sorry punks was here when they killed Jerome and nobody said shit. This brother fought with us to the goddamn bitter, man. Now, if you want to beat up somebody, go grab that white man over with your son probably today. And hold your knives to him so these punk-ass pigs will stop fucking with brothers up in here. If any one of y'all sorry punks touch him, I'm going to come down here and turn this whole motherfucking block out. Hey, Hank, you got what you need, man? All right, later on. <laughs> 